Hello, um, welcome to my first unboxing video. I need to mention that. So if it's rubbish, don't blame me. Um, this unboxing video is um, a bit of a watch, a bit of a watch aficionado. Um, I'm not really into. Haven't really got the money, should I say, to be buying lots of different. Uh, Watches, um, lots of very expensive watches, you know, Rolex and the like, of Seamasters and Omegas and stuff. But um, but I do like what I like, and one one watch which is very very affordable that struck me as being really cool. Got definitely got the cool factor is the um, Vostok Amphibia. Now this is uh, from a seller called Nikolai Karas Karasev. It's based in Moscow. He's a Moscow time seller. Um, and uh, yeah, it's cool. I mean, this is just how it's arrived today with the Russian stamps on. Some weird, Rus well, it's weird. It's not weird. Weird to me. There's some Russian writing here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to get right into this. We're going to open it. I wanted to film this because I wanted to, to share my reaction, which was with people that might actually appreciate my reaction. So we're just sort of going, oh yeah, it's a watch. First of all, it just seems very well packaged. For the size, oh, you've probably seen these before. Um, I'm just gonna nip and go. Get the old trusty. Okay, so I'm just gonna figure out whereabouts here. Looks like a good place to start. Made in Russia. I love the word. I love the way Russia's spelt. It's like Pinocchio. Okay. Give this a little tickle. So nice, this. It's really nice. Um, oh, well packaged too. It's a bit of foam type wrap there. This smells of nothing. No chemical smell. Sometimes you do get that. Okay, can we see that? Before I open this, I'm just going to peel this tip off because I don't want this to box seems very cheap. I have to admit the box does seem very cheap. Let's get rid of that out of the way. Sip of the old uh, rub. Here we go. Okay. What have we got here? Some Russian stuff. Nice authentic Russian stuff. It is literally all in Russian. I think they're just numbers to ring in the eventuality that you have some sort of warranty claim. Bostock. Okay. It's all Russian. I mean, 
again, that is just paper. It's so cheap. But then again, in the, in the Casio watch, just, just as a quick side note, quick check on what I'm wearing. G-Stock G-Steel. Beast. So I'm just going to pop that back in there. Refocus the camera. Another bit of non-chemical smelling plastic filler stuff. There it is. Pièce de résistance. Really weird this because like I'm just gonna put I'm just gonna put the knife through this for fear that I might see what I'm doing there just for fear that I might actually damage it more. See now on the on the actual advertisement in the eBay listing. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Now I went for the four twenty case. Let me put some focus in. I went for twenty case. Let me check the. Date though, I think the date's wrong, three days out. But it's ticking. Which is always a good sign, isn't it? Okay, so you get this. And it is a very cheap, very cheap bracelet. Not sure how cheap. You know, I think people kind of overreact with these things, don't they? Um, I'm just going to pop that to one side now. I think I'll keep that envelope just. Um, okay. Let's have a bit of brew. Now, when people have mentioned how cheap this bracelet is, that looks... I'm just going to remove... I need to try it on. In fact, I'm going to check the sizing, because this is perfect for me. And I would say that this is almost ready to go on my wrist. I would say that that is almost ready to go on my wrist. It's like it's bespoke for me. Um, I've seen a couple of videos where people have said that this is really hard to open. Um, um, on the, you know, I like it. I don't mind the wrist. I don't mind the strap actually. I really don't mind the strap. Okay, so you've got the piece of paper protecting it. You've all seen these. You know, let's not go over the top with this. Um, It is just stamped metal, but it is fairly nice stamped metal. Nice shininess. It's got some writing on the inside there. As you can see. The case is lovely. That is lovely, that. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. And it's not difficult to... Uh... So I'm going to put this on. Oh, yeah, it's a bit loose. Seemed like it was the same size, but yeah, it's massive. Um, no minor adjustments there are going to help that. I need to take a link out. Now, I'm, I've got, if you can see, I've got a pretty hairy arms. And, you know, I can feel it naturally. Oh, ow! Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is the problem that people are saying. Wow. Now, obviously, I'm moving that around quite a bit. Yeah, that is, it's, I can feel it pulling slightly at the hairs. Now, if that was a tight, if it was tighter on my wrist, 
there is no denying that it probably would rip the hairs out um, but it is quite loose but on the wrist it looks nice um, I'm going to take this off a lot of people don't because they, they want to do it on their own in the bathroom but I'm going to rip this off because it's a watch I bought it to wear Ooh. look at that I think I just weed a bit. That is nice. It's really nice. The finish on that. I'm going to put those back in the box, actually. Just because, really. Just because. That is nice. I got the Vostok. I got the Scuba Dude Central. It's the 420 case. Um. I love the tick. Can't hear any tick. I do love the second hand sweep. There it is, right. So that was my unboxing, I don't want it to be too long. 10 minutes is more than enough. But yeah, that's already ripped a couple of hairs out of my arms. Let's see if we can find them. You can see why it rips hairs out. What happens is, is your hairs get trapped in between these two. You know, and what that's, you know, just the nature of the very, very nature of the, um, nature of the beast really whereas when you've got a decent strap like the one on my Casio here um, which is chunky if nothing else um, what you tend to find if it wants to zoom in this bloody camera um, is that, it, that obviously the solid links solid links and it doesn't move there's no movement in the actual you know there's, there's lateral movement, like that, but there's no... It's difficult to catch it. I've never ever once had my hair caught on my wrist with this on. Now, as I said at the start, to kick off the video, um, I am just a lover of watches, really, and I like what I like, and I love this watch. I've had this exactly a year today. Um... It's radio timed, uh, multiband six, and um, it's brilliant. On the flip side, I don't mind a quartz, um, which is what this is. This is just a quartz, which is radio timed. But I've never, had, I've never actually owned an automatic. So, should we try and set the time on this? This is a newbie. I've never owned an automatic before. Um, so this is going to be a newbie. For the first time unscrewing the crown on so that's I'm guessing that's winding it Okay, now it's the 26th today. So, this is that watch where you've got to skip forward to 12 o'clock. Wow, that is good. And, I mean, contrary to what they say, I mean, I've just felt it click there. See? Oh yeah, so you've got to go back to where you see there where it's starting to, you see the 24 is starting to disappear. Let me move this up, sorry. Come on. So you see the 24 is starting to disappear there. Going back on itself. Now. So it's quarter... 
past eight. the 26th and it is now 10 9.43 on the 26th of September And what we're going to try and do I mean that's almost near us, damn it You can hack it um, movement itself isn't brilliant it's now 4409 you see the way it's jumping around there that's that's what you that's where your lack of funds comes from So, So what I've done there is I've hacked it and I've set it to almost two seconds fast. Oh, and that's actually a minute fast, so I need to now unscrew that again. What we got there? 44. Now it's slightly behind. Yeah, it's a couple of seconds behind, but I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. So to, to wind this up, I'm not going to go mad on that. Um, it's wound. That's that. Setting, hacking. It's now right time for the differential of 46 41. Let me try and get both of these in just to show you a little size comparison. There's a the size comparison. And, uh, it's about three seconds behind or something. Okay. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, there it is. The very, the very, extremely, extremely Russian. Extremely.
extremely Russian Vostok amphibia. That's not going to... Ah, there you go. All that's left for me to say is... Uh, um, cheers, and thanks for watching. I um, hope it helps some people. This, by the way, is the 420 case. We all know about the calibre. The 4216B. Um... Oh, there was one last thing, actually. I just wanted to... I'd heard people say about the... The noise on this being... It had a noisy rotor. I don't know if you can hear that, but it is pretty noisy. But... It's just one of those things, isn't it? Not to worry. I'm going to go and put this on, I'm going to go and resize the strap, and I'm going to use it, I'm going to wear it, and see what I think. Thank you very much. The Vostok Amphibia, 420 case, blue dial, scuba dude. Thank you.